Open Heavens on the Go, Friday, January 27th, 2023. Topic, The Law of Harvest. Memory verse, Hosea 8, 7. For they have sown the wind, and they shall reap the wild wind. It hath no stalk. The bird shall yield no meal. If so be it yield, the strangers shall swallow it up. Bible reading. Genesis 27, 18 to 23. And Genesis 37, 26 to 35. Genesis 27, 18 to 23. And he came unto his father and said, My father. And he said, Here am I. Who art thou, my son? And Jacob said unto his father, I am Esau thy firstborn. I have done according as thou biddest me. Arise, I pray thee, sit and eat of my venison, that thy soul may bless me. And Isaac said unto his son, How is it that thou hast found it so quickly, my son? And he said, Because the Lord thy God brought it to me. And Isaac said unto Jacob, Come near, I pray thee, that I may feel thee, my son, whether thou be my very son Esau or not. And Jacob went near unto Isaac his father, and he felt him and said, The voice is Jacob's voice, but the hands are the hands of Esau. And he discerned him not, because his hands were hairy, as his brother Esau's hands. So he blessed him. Second passage, Genesis 37, 26 to 35. And Judah said unto his brethren, What profit is it if we slay our brother and conceal his blood? Come and let us sell him to the Ishmaelites and let not our hand be upon him. For he is our brother and our flesh, and his brethren were content. Then there passed by Midianite merchantmen, and they drew and lifted up Joseph out of the pit and sold Joseph to the Ishmaelites for, th for twenty pieces of silver, and they brought Joseph into Egypt. And Reuben returned unto the pit, and, behold, Joseph was not in the pit, and he rent his clothes. And he returned unto his brethren and said, The child is not, and I, whither shall I go? And they took Joseph's coat and killed a kid of the goats and dipped the coat in the blood. And they sent, and they sent the coat of many colors, and they brought it to their father and said, This have we found. Know not whether it be thy son's coat or no. And he knew it and said, It is my son's coat. An evil beast had devoured him. Joseph is without doubt rent in pieces. And Jacob rent his clothes and put sackcloth upon his loins and mourned for his son many days. And all his sons and all his daughters rose up to comfort him. But he refused to be comforted. And he said, for I will go down into the grave unto my son mourning. Thus his father wept for him. The message. The law of harvest states that you will reap much more than whatever you sow. This is why you must be careful of the kind of seeds you sow, because when harvest comes, it is always much more than the seed. In our Bible readings for today, we see Jacob sowing a seed in the first passage and then reaping the harvest in the second. In the first passage, he deceived his father in order to get the blessing and so his son, his children, also deceived him that Joseph, their brother, was dead. Genesis 37 35 says, And all his sons 
and all his daughters rose up to comfort him, but he refused to be comforted. And he said, For I will go down into the grave unto my son mourning. Thus his father wept for him. Many a time, the harvest of your seeds comes when you are too old to do anything about it. Everything you do now is a seed, and the harvest will come back to you when you may not have as much energy as you do now. I thank God for some of the seeds I sowed as a young man because I am now reaping the harvests. In 1961, as a 19-year-old, I gave some money to a poor, sick old man, a neighbor, so he could get some medicine. The man said to me that someday I will be traveling abroad as often as people go to the market. I laughed at that prophecy because in my village in those days, if anyone was returning from a trip abroad, the entire village would not go to the farm that day. The hunters will come out and shoot their guns in celebration of the person and everyone will be rejoicing. At that time, there were only two people who had gone abroad in my village and they studied there for a number of years. Now, this man was saying that I will, I will be going often. It appeared funny, but I had sown the seed. Today, by God's grace, that prophecy has been fulfilled. Beloved, pay attention to every opportunity you have to sow a good seed. On the other hand, always check your actions to be sure that you are not sowing bad seeds that you will regret when the harvest comes. Key point, be very intentional about the seed you sow today because they will come back in multiple folds tomorrow. Bible reading in one year. Exodus 38 to 40. Him for today, there shall be showers of blessing. The Open Heavens is written by Pastor E. A. Adeboye, the General Overseer of the Redeemed Christian Church of God. God bless you.